Jujutsu Kaisen's final arc being the Shinjuku Shodan arc was terrible. Is what I would say if I was a freaking idiot. But truthfully, I can understand the narrative of this last arc being underwhelming, considering how much good stuff we've gotten from other arcs. And this being the concluding arc and how we have three chapters left of so much exposition that we thought we was going to get suddenly dialed down into... I, I don't even know what this is, I'm not gonna lie. But overall, despite the amazing fights like Yuji versus Sukuna, Yuta versus Sukuna, Gojo versus Sukuna, etc., there's still a lot of questions that are left unanswered. Now, I know we got three chapters left, but three chapters is not gonna cover these questions, at least most of them. So, I'll be going over some of the questions and personally, some of the problems that I have with this arc. And I know some people are gonna say we got three chapters, but no, who are they gonna fight? Sukuna's dead, Urame's dead, Kenjaku's dead. Like, <laughs> who are they gonna fight? The, the cockroach curse? All right, on a real note, we gotta talk about the elephant in the room, Nobara. <laughs> Look, I love Nobara as much as the next guy, but we can't lie. This is beyond plot armor. Beyond plot. How do you wake up 30 minutes? After a coma that's been the, like she was in a coma for at least three months, she wakes up in time. Somehow her body's good enough to the point where she can still maintain her curse technique. Because like, hey, I know something. Like remember when um that dude with the hands, right? That dude lost his arm in Shibuya and he was significantly weaker. How is Nobara not weakened after losing her eye? An eye is much more valuable than an arm. I'll tell you right now. And she somehow she's. She look like she got stronger. <laughs> now listen, Gay Gay. I already know you had the Nobara fangirls at your doorstep at gunpoint too, probably. But you did not need to do this. Stand ten toes down, bro. Her conclusion with Maito, even though it wasn't good, but it was something, right? This just... I don't even know how to... I, I, like, this is like if Frieza blew up Krillin. And Krillin was still there, but he lost like an arm or a leg. Like, what? Whoa. I can't, I can't deal with this. Wait, thinking back, this is actually a perfect analogy because Frieza killed Piccolo, right? And then killed Krillin. So in this sense, if Krillin survived that, then that would've been plot because he just killed Piccolo. So Mahito killing Nanami, but then having, touching Nobara's full face, five fingers on her face. And she still survived with just one <laughs> eye missing, might I add you. I, I don't know. All right, y'all. My second complaint or my second problem with this arc, Megami, Jesus Christ, Megami, how are you even talking right now? You've been hit with 12 unlimited voids, probably more than 13 thanks to Yuta. So how are you still like functioning? You should not be functioning. This doesn't make sense to me. Now, I know for plot related reasons, they needed this to happen, right? If Megami didn't wake up, then Sukuna basically would have won. <laughs> he would have won. However, they could have just solved it by like, I don't know, Yuji knocking him awake. He was awake from the get go. That's the problem. He was been awake. He, from the unlimited voice, he was still awake. So I don't understand. I truthfully don't understand how and why. <laughs> Now, one issue I have with this arc is Yuji. Not his performance, though. Yuji's What's performance up? was fantastic. Probably the best performance behind Gojo. However, his domain expansion. Gege. Gege. What? In the Naruto... I'm joking. I haven't finished Naruto. But I've been hearing Naruto's ending, bro. Like, he, he be talking to his villains. You know, the people that be nuking towns, killing his friends. He be talking to them, trying to befriend them, bro. What, what was that... Domain, bro. It, we didn't even get a name for it, which is the worst part. He bought the domain, but we don't even know what it's about. We just know that he shot Sakuna in a domain. Now, that's actually really funny because he was telling Sakuna with that cold pose, hey, I could kill you right now. Unless if you switch to Megami, I'll put you in the pack. And guess what he did? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Sakuna literally was beating him up in his domain. Where's your physical ant buffs? Now, I know you took out this domain and the same thing happened to him, but at least we see the buffs and we see, like, you know, we. What what did Yuji's domain even do? I, I don't even. Did it send it to a different location? Like, it even. 
what <laughs> now i actually need y'all in the comments down below to comment and tell me what yuji's domain even did besides bring sakuna down memory lane because genuinely it did nothing i i just what did it do <laughs> now my next one is obviously hikari versus harame but i already did a video on that and we all know how terrible terrible gege treated them uh, that conclusion was definitely one of the worst this is probably the worst fight in all anime period i generally don't think there's a single fight worse than that fight the build-up just go watch the video i did because jesus christ i was right and i made that video two months ago gege had two months to fix his mistake and he did not listen to me now my next and final complaint is kenjaku slash the merger why even bring this up genuinely why even bring this up, Gege Akutame? If you're gonna bring up the merger, talk about Kenjaku's a thousand year plan. Why he even created Yuji being the host for Sukuna and the birth of a new dawn of curses. Why even bring up the merger? If it's just gonna be the Sukuna show, just say that. Just don't even don't even talk about the merger. You got everybody hyped up for practically a Godzilla type end of the world situation where after they beat Sukuna, they're all gonna have to ban Firth and somehow beat the merger. But no, that would have been an amazing ending. But no, no, no. You know what we needed? You know what we needed? We needed a thousand, the, the thousandth and twenty-first Black Flash to kill Sukuna. That's exactly what we needed. Now I know some people are gonna talk about when Sukuna throated whatever Kenjaku sent to him, right? And that was basically the merger or something. I honestly don't even, I don't even remember. Because regardless or not, why even bring up the merger, bro? Mm. Why even draw that sick panel of that gigantic centipede roaming across Shibuya? Mm. Why even, dude, why even edges like that? Just to never let it happen. Mm. Just to never let it happen. Like, I know, like, Gojo saying, nah, I'd win. That's used as a meme, but it's in his character and it makes sense for him to lose. But bringing up the merger, basically Kenjaku's whole character being the merger, because like that's what he's been planning. He's supposed to be like Aizen, at least do your plan. <laughs> the, <laughs> Jesus Christ, Gege, what is this ending, bro? Ever wanted your room to light up like Fuga? Oh, Wait, hey, no, 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 hey, not hey, like that. <laughs> And guess what? Your room can with these Sukuna LEDs. Well, there's not only just Sukuna, there's Gojo, Zoro, and so much more stuff you could buy. You could get yourself a hoodie, phone case, swords, jewelry, so much variety I could barely breathe. All these amazing anime accessories all at Anime Express. And click the link down below or use code TAC10 to get 15% off your order. Who wouldn't want that? Not me. Now back to the video. But truthfully, despite my disappointment with JJK's world building, some characters coming back out of nowhere, and overall, <laughs> let's be real, just what what is this fast paced pacing, bro? We've been blitzing through not only training, but he's also blitzing through character dialogue. We've, we we blitzed past the ending, like Sakuna's ending felt low key rushed, but it is what it is. And honestly, it's J J Jujutsu Kaisen. We should be used to this, right? We should be used to this. But regardless, I did love it, all right? The fights were elite, right? The fights were elite. That's what JJK is all about. To me, to me. And overall, it got my GOAT total back. I'm not mad at it, all right? <laughs> total coming back and getting praise from Sukuna. 10 out of 10 manga. I'll glaze you to whatever. But hey, that's just my opinion on Jujutsu Kaisen's uh, final arc. If you guys want to see more rants like this, make sure to give him a knife, that like button, subscribe if you're new, comment for the algorithm, follow my Twitter, I'll be chatting there too. I'm tacked on it before, and I'll see you guys next time. Is that